What's up, Tailgaters? You're in the booth with Tailgate Nate today. Welcome to my channel. Got another week three preview prediction video up for you today. And this one, we're going to be talking about a potential upset bid game coming out of Starkville, Mississippi, where we see the home team and the very, very experienced Mississippi State Bulldogs that are going to welcome the 14th ranked LSU Tigers. This should be a fun one in Starkville. Can't wait to watch this one. Before we dive into this preview prediction, I just got to say thank you guys so much for the support the channel has seen as of late. Continue to show your support for the channel this college football season. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell so you know when videos get uploaded, but there are more ways than that to help me support this channel. Hey, you guys are doing one of them right now by watching the video, and you guys can do more by liking, commenting, sharing, and really anything else you guys are willing and or able to do to help me support this channel. Again, whatever you guys are able to do, I appreciate greatly. Thank you guys so much for all the support and love that you've shown to this channel over the past two to three months. So uh, let's go ahead and now take a deep dive into this game here. We got the LSU Tigers. We got the Mississippi State Bulldogs. For the Bulldogs, uh, th th this... It isn't even really their first test. They got tested last week against the Arizona Wildcats. Uh, they were able to pull out a very close yet uncomfortable overtime win. And for the uh, LSU Tigers, well, they easily were going to handle Grambling State any way you sliced it last week. Uh, but they did get exposed by the Florida State Seminoles. So they'll be looking to turn it around here in this game. So let's go and take a look at the stats that both these teams have put up through two weeks of the college football season so far. And when we take a look at the LSU offense, well, I think we uh, know that this, is a, that this is an LSU offense that can be explosive. Jaden Daniels is one of the best dual threat quarterbacks the nation has to offer. 615 yards, that's a 65% completion percentage, uh, six touchdowns to only one pick. Now, same sort of problem with Jaden Daniels that the, uh, the LSU Tigers had last season. They have allowed five sacks on the year so far, but this is a, or, or, or I guess not an LSU thing, more like a Jaden Daniels thing that the, too often than not, when Jaden Daniels tries to get out of the pocket and create against the team with a superior pass rush, kind of like what Florida State has, kind of like what they may see out of Mississippi State here, he gets caught and he gets trapped, doesn't get rid of of the ball and he goes down and takes a loss of yards which th makes things doubly as hard for the LSU offense to work and be able to drive down the field so yes the offensive line has to provide some good protection but Jaden Daniels cannot get himself in situations uh to where he really needs to feel like he needs to uh take a loss there uh, on that play but again this offense is loaded with we uh with we weapons Logan Diggs is leading the rushing game there you got guys like brian thomas Mal uh, malik neighbors malik neighbors don't know why i couldn't say that name there uh and kyron lacy in the wide receiver room so the lsu offense is going to be just fine here again uh jane daniels has got to be able to limit uh what pressure i guess jane daniels on the offensive line got to be able to limit what pressure uh gets back to him defensively this is an lsu defense that got a little bit exposed by the florida state seminoles now again that seminal offense is really experienced really really good but LSU is one of the best defensive players, if not the best defensive player in the entire country, and Harold Perkins. He only has six tackles on the year so far. Definitely was a candidate to be this team's leading tackler, so expect him to really step up his game here as the season goes along. But this is also a team that, while the pass rush hasn't been there, is dangerous and is lethal, and you have to watch out for it. I know they've only generated one sack so far, but this is a defense that can absolutely force turnovers, can get to the quarterback, uh, and they, they can create havoc for the Mississippi State offense, which speaking of them, let's talk about them now. Yes, Will Rogers is still there, and he hasn't been super impressive, but he hasn't gotten the reps that he usually does. And uh, I guess I kind of retract my statement that I just said. Will Rogers, for the reps that he's had, has been impressive right it's not a stat line that you're used to seeing like oh you know will rogers exploding onto the scene his season stat line so far through two games is kind of what we're used to seeing out of will rogers through one game but he's 33 of 46 on the year 389 yards and five touchdowns so far this season which hey uh pretty pretty good um stat line there considering this is kind of a new mississippi state offensive system again we're used to seeing the air raid from mike leach who sadly's passed away so zach arnett coming in here uh but this is a, a run game that's worked 
really, really, really well. Uh, Joquavius Marks uh, has been playing really, really well for this team. 43 carries, 250 yards, three touchdowns. That's 5.8 yards per carry. And my mistake, too, that sack number is wrong. It is this, this is the Bulldog offensive line that has allowed three sacks, and it should be 1.5 per game. So apologies for that statistical error there. If I see it in the comment section, uh, don't say I didn't say it in this video because I caught it. It's corrected. Uh, but th this is the Mississippi State offense runs through the run game. But Will Rogers, I think it's going to have to find that rhythm here in this game, throwing the football. He's got the weapons to do it. It's just got to happen. And for this Mississippi State defense, well, don't let these numbers fool you. Yes, they four six turnovers. They've been pretty good at that so far. They've been able to generate pressure to opposing quarterbacks. But. When you take a look at this Mississippi State defense, 15.5 points per game, 319.5 yards per game. I believe this was, a, this was a defense that got torched by Arizona last week for over 400 yards. And this is an LSU offense that is much, much better than what the Bulldogs saw in the Arizona Wildcats. However, this is the defense with a lot of experience, especially on that defensive front. Uh, and they are going to create some problems for the LSU Tigers, but this is definitely a step up in terms of what the uh, in terms of what the Bulldog defense saw last week, which leads me into my what to watch for keys to the game, whatever you want to call it. Just some things I think you should watch for when you tune, or I should say, if you tune into this one, and you should, it's going to be a pretty good one out there in Starkville. We're going to start with the road team. We're going to start with the LSU Tigers. Let Jaden Daniels go to work. But like I mentioned earlier, you have to give him better protection to take some of the pressure off of him. Uh, uh, I saw a stat out there that Jaden Daniels throwing and running um, uh, have has accounted for almost two thirds of this LSU Tiger offensive yardage, which you got to be able to take the pressure off of him. So these wide receivers are going to have to go up and make some plays. Yes. But this running game with, with uh, Logan Diggs, with Josh Williams, uh, with Noah Kane, with Caleb Jackson, really going to have to be able to really get things moving here and be able to pound it through this bulldog defensive front. And th that's exactly my, uh, Second point there, right? Uh, so the first key point was kind of talking about the offensive line, right? They've got to do a little bit better job at protecting him. Yes, Daniels gets himself into trouble a lot. He can't do that either, but it's an offensive line that can still do a better job at protecting him. And this is a run game that has to get more involved in this game, again, in order to take the pressure off of Jaden Daniels and get the pass rush going as well. well I I've said it, or I said it when we were taking a look at stats there, right? Only one sack by this LSU defense so far this season. Guys, we know they're so much better than that. They got some absolute dogs. Mason Smith is back after missing that uh, Florida State game. And uh, again, H Harold Perkins perfectly capable of rushing the quarterback. Guys, there are so many weapons on this LSU defense. It is ridiculous. The pass rush has got to get home and got to create some sacks and create some pressure for Will Rogers in this game. But speaking of Will Rogers is now we dive into the keys for Mississippi State. Let Will Rogers and the receivers cook. Again, this is a team that so far has been a lot more reliant on the run game than it has the pass game. Well, this is the game right here to let Will Rogers show off the arm that he showed off so much under M Mike Leach. And again, he has the wide receiver weapons to be able to do it. Griffin, Marks, uh, Whitmore, Robinson, Wally. There's a lot of great talent in this wide receiver room. Show it. Let it go to work. This is an LSU secondary that got torched against Jordan Travis and Florida State. And albeit while there are a lot bigger bodies in that wide receiver room, Mississippi State's got a lot of good weapons to be able to make that work as well. The offensive line for the Mississippi State Bulldogs has to make the Tiger front a, a non-factor, which is asking a lot. So I also limit it to, well, just limiting it, right? So you got to be able to, uh, again, this is an LSU pass rush that hasn't really been able to get going in full force quite yet. You got to let that continue in this game. The offensive line has got to do its job at protecting Will Rogers and creating holes for this run game that has worked so effectively over the past two games. And you got to create pressure on Daniels as well. So get that pass rush home. Uh, let Daniels get himself it in the situations where he's kind of just in no man's land and has to take a sack, which leads me into my prediction for this game. This is kind of a must win for the LSU Tigers if they want to stay alive in the college football playoff race. Well, and really you could say that about 
any team with one loss right now. But especially for the LSU Tigers, I think they feel like they have something to prove. I, I, I definitely don't think that they feel like they played their best game against the Florida State Seminoles. And you know what? I, I'm not going to sit here and disagree with them. I do think they can play a little bit better of ball. Mississippi State is going to make this game tough, though. They got a lot of experience, and Will Rogers has got a great arm, but the Tigers will be a little bit too much. They'll go on the road and get a big win here in Starkville on Saturday. So that's going to do it for my thoughts on this game. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. And as always, remember to play hard, but tailgate harder. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.